Thanks so much, Jillian. Attacks against conservatives on college campuses continue after a vigil for Kate Stein set up by UC Berkeley's college Republicans is destroyed. A poster of Kate Steinle, the young woman who was killed by a five-time deported illegal immigrant, was found torn and thrown in the trash the morning after the campus candlelight vigil. Joining me now is one of the students who helped plan that vigil, campusreform.org correspondent and UC Berkeley student, Troy Warden. Troy, thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me on. You're welcome. You, you had the vigil last week. Tell me why and what happened. Well, we wanted to hold a vigil in order to honor the memory of Kate Steinle, who was a victim of legal immigration. Her killer was just acquitted, and we wanted to make uh, a statement that we really remembered her, that she, we weren't going to let her be forgotten, that she's been forgotten in most of the mainstream media. And so that's what we wanted to do. We wanted to honor her memory and basically communicate what she stood for, who she was, to students on campus. And normally, vigils aren't contentious at UC Berkeley. Uh, you can pretty much wave an, wave an ISIS flag around on campus, and no one will bat an eye. This has been uh, detailed in campus reform articles before. UC Berkeley is not a stranger to, to mm -hmm. outlandish or unique things. So but the moment we held a, a, a vigil for Kate Steinle, an Antifa organization refused fascism, sent a paid activist to basically desecrate the memorial, to interrupt it, to call us fascist, bigots, racists, etc. Our message, uh, our, our message of honoring Kate was totally lost in, in, in this protest. It's hard to see that. I mean, we've all been following this case for so long. I had um, the opportunity to sit down with her family and interview them. And so I, I saw firsthand the pain that they're going through. And then to see Kate Steinle's poster, her face, thrown in the trash. We've been showing those images all morning. What happened to that? There, there's one of the pictures right there. What happened to the memorial? Because we also saw some pictures of all of the candles on the steps of, of Sproul Hall at, on your campus. And all of the candles out in the word Kate. And we've seen these posters in the trash. What else happened? Because you had flowers, you had candles, the easel with a large picture of her. Well, we decided to leave the picture out, and we decided to leave the other materials out, just so uh, when students were coming to campus in the morning, that they would be able to see what we had done and maybe take a moment to reflect on, on what she stood for and, and what her life meant. But unfortunately, some people took it upon themselves to uh, take those things and either get rid of them or tear them up and put them in the trash mm -hmm. can. And this isn't a unique occurrence. Uh, previously, a few days before the vigil, we had actually at night put up posters with Kate's face on them uh, saying she had dreams too. And unfortunately, those were almost immediately taken down and put up with posters of my face on them uh, with the label Soy Warden, which is a sort of a play on my name, Troy Warden. Uh, and we knew that Antifa alt-left activists were taking pictures of us putting up those posters, and they took them down almost immediately. So there are people at Berkeley, at UC Berkeley, who are basically hell-bent on stopping any kind of memorial for this victim of illegal immigration. Thank you so much, Troy, for being with us. That's unbelievable. God bless you. Thank, Thank you for you. doing this. Forget safe spaces. One college is using this to help calm down snowflakes. And send a wish out to the air. Care Bears on campus? Seriously? And the polls are about to open.